focus to what what can easily be called a good news story something that the indian air force has been looking for over a decade the union cabinet has approved the procurement of 56 c295 transport aircraft for the indian air force now this is a replacement of the aging avro fleet of the iaf and this is a major boost to atmanirbhar bharat because 40 of these 56 aircraft are to be manufactured in india 16 will be procured in a flyway condition from spain all the aircraft all the 56 will be installed with indigenous electronic warfare suites India Today's executive editor, Shivarur, gets us more. What you're looking at is the C-295. A sturdy, modern military transport aircraft. Built for rapid transport of troops, 5 to 10 tons of weapons, vehicles and anything militaries may need. And now, the Indian Air Force is all set to become the latest operator of this aircraft. The Modi government on Wednesday cleared a long-pending $2.5 billion deal for 56 of these planes. Of enormous significance is the fact that while 16 of these aircraft will be supplied by Airbus directly from a factory in Spain, the remaining 40 will be built by a private sector consortium led by the Tata Group right here in India. That alone is a gigantic milestone, the first ever military aircraft manufacturing program to be led by the Indian private sector and not state-owned Hindustan Aeronautics Limited, which has monopolized this space for decades. The C-295, in service with 15 countries, is a platform that can be configured for a variety of missions apart from its baseline duties of military transport. Other missions include maritime surveillance, special operations, command and control and operations from unprepared surfaces. The deal for 56 C-295s has taken a long time coming and has taken nearly a decade to be concluded and they won't be coming a minute too soon. The Airbus planes are intended to replace the Indian Air Force's old, aging British Avro aircraft that were once built by HAL. The aircraft have long outlived their useful life and the Indian Air Force has long felt the need for flexible, reliable, modern tactical transport aircraft. The C-295 will join a multi-nation fleet of transport aircraft already in service with the Indian Air Force. In addition to the old Avros, the Indian Air Force's current tactical fleet comprises mostly Soviet-era AN-32 aircraft. In a higher weight class, the Indian Air Force operates a dozen American C-130J Super Hercules aircraft kitted out for special operations and missions behind enemy lines. And at the higher end of cargo capacity, the Indian Air Force also operates the Russian IL-76 jets and a fleet of 11 giant American C-17 Globemaster III's which have recently seen action in the Kabul evacuations. The C-295 fulfills a long-felt need for a modern military transport that's quick to maintain and fly and can operate in forward airfields at short notice. With a factory to come up in India, it's likely that many more could be built for the Indian Navy and Indian Coast Guard as well.